Hey dolls! So today is a kind of super fun video. I haven't done a DIY style video in quite some time or a crafty video. So today I am coming to you with a squishy makeover video. I have been heavily, heavily, heavily inspired by Mariah Elizabeth here on YouTube. I have been watching her videos recently and got hooked instantly especially to her squishy makeover series she is so talented at what she does i just love her content so much and what she can do with her brain to like visualize these awesome creations and then put them into something physical is like so so cool and so awesome so with that being said i am going to show you guys how i gave my squishy a makeover and you can tell me what whether I passed or failed. <laughs> Let me know down below if you guys are interested in videos like this and hopefully I can do some more in the future. Also a big 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 thank you to Mariah Elizabeth for inspiring this video. Uh, I think this thing is actually going around now where people are doing these like squishy makeover challenges or squishy repaint challenges. Uh, it's really really fun. I will leave her channel linked down below. Also if you are new to my channel feel free to subscribe and click that bell icon because then if I do more videos like this you guys will be notified of when they go up. You can follow me on any of my social media. It is down in the description box as well. And with that Here's the video. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> okay, so this is my first squishy makeover candidate. I got this Kibru, key, yeah, Kibru, K I I B R U, uh, little squishy bear off of the Creamy Candy website, I think, like forever ago. And as you can see, his neck is split. He's got a weird like hair dye mark right here. The squishy was very, very, very well loved, but it was really soft, so it didn't hold up to a lot of squishing, but as you can see, it is super slow rising, very dirty. Uh, these little patches on the back right here, I basically just did a test of the fabric glue that I'm gonna be using to make sure that it's not gonna flake off and stuff, so just ignore those. But both of the feet looked like this, and I did do a test with fabric glue on this foot already. It looked just this bad, if not worse. So I did already glue a one of the feet. So the first step to this squishy makeover process is just taking some fabric glue. I use fabric fusion and just sealing up all of his little slices, I guess you could call them. And this needs about four to six hours to dry is what it says on the bottle. So I'm going to take a hair tie. You can use rubber bands for this, but I'm just taking a hair tie and kind of just securing his foot like so, so that it can dry in place like that. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing to his head. and I'm gonna leave him for four to six hours. Okay, so once all these little rips and tears are glued back down, I kind of missed a little bit right here, but that's okay. I am just going to take some random paint and just kind of sloppily go in here and fill in all of these rips so that they cannot come open again. being really sloppy with this because I can fix it all later once I go over it officially with some other paint. So now that our bear looks like he has been dripped with mustard, we're just going to let him dry for a few hours and then we can begin our paint job. Once bear is all good and ready to go, Oh my gosh, I just made a huge mess. Um, I have this mint color that I mixed with my puffy paint. I just used this matte white shade and this matte leaf green shade. 
and that is how I created this beautiful mint color. So we are going to do a mint teddy bear. So I'm just going to go in and start painting numerous coats on this bear until we have a pretty nice buildup. All right, it took about three or four coats to get this matte enough or opaque enough. And now I'm gonna just go in with some white matte paint and just do the paws, the bottom of the feet, um, around the nose area. And I think that's all that I'm gonna do white on him. Uh, there are a few spots where like, you can see quite a bit of texture on him still. But I'm not really worried about those little imperfections like you can see the bumps in the little back swatches that I did and he does still have this hole on the top of his head but it's okay I still love him he's still super cute and I'm just gonna work with it I'm not super picky about this I don't plan on selling these guys I'm just keeping them for myself so I'm not really too picky so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do the white paint now Here is after about three coats of the white. Next, I am going to take this pink shade that I mixed up using the matte white paint and the pink rose matte paint. And I just mixed up this pastel-y pink shade. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to color in the toes, the nose, and the insides of the ears. And I think I want to do the bow the same color with the little lines and kind of details of it just a little bit darker of a pink than this. So yeah, I think we're going to go in with this pink and see what we can come up with. And this time, instead of a paintbrush, I'm going in with a dotting tool. You can get these for really, really cheap off of eBay or Amazon. They are kind of for like nail decorating usually to do like little flower petals and stuff, but they are super cheap. You can also get them at craft stores like Michael's. Alright, so I just have a few more steps left to do. Um, I'm going to take some black matte paint and I'm just going to go in the eyes, do those. I might add some eyelashes and make this little bear a girl. Um, I'm going to define the mouth a little bit and then after that I'm just going to define the bow and he or she, the squishy, will be complete. So I don't think my camera recorded this, but I took just some white paint again and I went in with my dotting tool and just lit a little white dot 
on each eye just to give her a little bit more of an expression and add some more life to her eyes. So I'm going in with this pink paint, paint and a Q-tip and I'm just going to add a little bit of blush to her cheeks very, very, very lightly. So I'm going to take the Q-tip, I'm going to dip it in the paint just a little tiny, tiny bit and then I'm going to kind of like dab it, dab it on just like a scrap piece of paper just to kind of like diffuse it down a little bit and then I'm very, very, very gently going to go in and add a little bit of blush to her cheeks and just I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with my finger just like so. And finally, I'm going to take this pink rose color. As you remember, I used this and white to make this pastel pink, but I'm just gonna use this as is to kind of define the bow just a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of detailing in these little folds right here and just kind of like throughout the back just a little bit. So as you can see, I decided to go ahead and outline the ribbon in that dark color just to make it pop more, um, but I did make a lot of boo-boos, so I am going to go in with the other colors and just clean those up really quick. All right, and here she is. Again, some of the neck spots are a little bit janky still, but for the most part, I absolutely love her. However, her head does feel very like open and like big. She has like a large forehead. So I think I'm gonna go in like right here and do some little white eyebrows. Um, if anything, I if I don't like it, I can just cover it up. So I am gonna do that real quick just to see what it looks like and if I like it. And here she is, my beautiful new baby. I love how she turned out. She's so, so cute. Again, there are a few like mishaps on the surface of the squishy, but that's fine. I'm not really too picky about those things. Uh, these are easy fixes. If you do want to fix something like this, just get another piece of foam, stick it in there with some fabric glue, trim it down to be flush with the head, and then seal it just like I did with the neck and feet. Um, but yeah, it's a really easy fix. I just didn't do it. Maybe I will do it a little bit later on, but I am really, really pleased with her. Let me know uh, what you guys think down below. Let me know how you think she came out. Uh, and with that being said, I guess I will go ahead and talk to you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching this. If you want to see more of these squishy makeover videos, please, please, please leave a comment down below and like this video so I know to do more. And again, thank you so much, Mariah Elizabeth, for inspiring me to start doing these. They are so fun. They take forever to do, but they are very, very fun. It's awesome being able to kind of imagine the possibilities and then put it into something actual visual so you guys can see what I'm thinking of as well. So let me know what you guys think, like I said, and I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!